His August wedding was supposed to be the best day of his life, but for one groom in New Hampshire, it's turned into a nightmare for him and his family. Nick Giovanni from our station WBZ in Boston has more on an incident that brings new meaning to the term wedding crasher. Music pumping, guests dancing, and a drone looming overhead. This was the scene at the Searles Castle in Wyndham, captured on cell phone video at a wedding reception back in August. Both the groom and the venue are now being sued by two of the wedding guests for negligence over what allegedly happened within seconds of this footage being recorded. According to a lawsuit filed last month, the drone came crashing down, hitting one woman in the face, fracturing her nose and causing a concussion. The suit claims the drone's propeller hit another woman's head, leaving her with a concussion and a laceration that required more than 20 stitches. One of my waiters came running into the castle in a panic, saying the drone is inside the tent, the groom's flying it under the tent. So we went out to tell him, you know, you can't do it, you have to put it away, and it was too late. Scott C. Robb II is the VP of Searles Castle and was overseeing the event. He and the lawsuit both claim the groom, Barry Billcliff, was the person at the controls. Hours after he says, he told Bill Cliff to put the drone away. The groom came up about two hours before the wedding and uh, took a drone out of his car and launched it into the courtyard and he was flying it around taking some pictures. And I told him it was illegal, you, know, you can't fly those here, I explained why. Um, and he said okay and put it away. Rob believes the two guests should be compensated, but he argues Searle's castle shouldn't be held responsible. I don't know how I could have prevented it. I mean, I thought by telling him it's illegal, you can't do this here, and he put it away, that's, you know, end of story. The groom declined an on-camera interview, but told WBZ he was not controlling the drone. He claims he was standing in the middle of the dance floor at the time.